Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, they just lined up. Watch this. And then they finished off the Roadhog off to the left. Widowmaker has been seeing a loss of pick for a while now. Mainly on PC, but the console side is feeling it as well. Not just because of her nerf, but also because of the shift of tactics and strategy that utilize really fast and mobile team compositions. AKA, the meta has changed. Also, with the recent Hanzo buff, is just so much less of a risky pick than Widowmaker. So here are some of my own suggestions on how to bring Widowmaker back into the meta without making her too powerful again. Number one, reduce her presence. Now, what I mean by that is we have two snipers in the game that can one-shot headshot most heroes in the game, except one of them telegraphs their presence on the battlefield much more than the other. How many times did you die out of seemingly nowhere, only to watch the kill cam as a Hanzo placed his scatter arrow exactly at your feet. On accident. I'll argue that Hanzo is the one hero in the game that gets the most accidental eliminations in the game. Even more than Junkrat, but that's another video. I think a part of it is that he doesn't telegraph his presence as much as Widowmaker. Her sniper rifle is loud. He takes over most other sounds on the battlefield and a bright, thick red line shows her whereabouts. From the target all the way to the source for a Winston to instantly pounce on her and she can't do anything about it. I think reducing her sniper rifle's sound and the red line's visibility could help with that a bit. Number two, reduce grapple cooldown. With so many mobility characters to counter Widowmaker, she, like on a sleep dart, has one chance to get away from whomever is giving her problems. Unlike Hanzo who can always climb walls, granted some walls are tough to climb and that's not as fast as Widowmaker's grapple, but I'm not saying to allow her grapple all the time like Hanzo's climb. I'm suggesting taking a few seconds off the cooldown. Maybe reduce the venom bind by a couple seconds too. I mean, that's on a 15 second cooldown. Number three, reduce assault rifle spread. If you don't know already, the assault mode on her gun is actually really strong. For the most part, she can handle herself in close range combat, but not as well as I think it should be. Making her weapon a little more accurate will allow her to not need as much help when confronted by a Genji or a Tracer. Number four, reduce her charge time. Allow her bullet to charge slightly faster. I've heard some suggest to make the scope animation faster, but my version of that would be to make it charge faster instead. At this moment, Ana is a more consistent damage dealer than Widowmaker is. Doesn't seem right for a healer. And finally, number five, increase strafe speed. Widowmaker's peak ability isn't as great as Ana's and Hanzo's. I think a speed increase so she could peek around corners better could do wonders for her as well. So what do you think? Should only one of these fixes be used? Some? Or even all of them? Or none of them at all? Do you have a suggestion on how they should change Widowmaker? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message. Oh my god, the tracer rushed me and I got her. Just barely. I'm on a 10 player kill streak. One after another. Oh my god, that was awesome! I'm saving this.